welcome back to the pen and ink well i again this is the second time i've tried to in, um record this intro rudely interrupted by my children but not rudely i'm very sort of um, fortunate to have them here they're all sat behind the camera actually fion caris ellis all three of them in a row right in front of me which is all say hi everyone hi, hi. <laughs> enthusiasm as you can hear <laughs> but thanks again for joining me and for having a look at a new pen that i have with me now this one was sent to me by Martin and his team at the writing desk and very grateful for this because what I've got in my hands today is a Sailor 1911 large, classic 1911 Sailor. Um, I've really liked the Sailor pens recently. You've seen my review of the Sailor Pro Colour. I had the Stardust that I reviewed and I now own the pink one that you may have seen pictures of on my Instagram feed. I've been really impressed with the Sailor nibs and that was a steel nib pen that I had there and I'm really interested in seeing what the gold nib pens write like. So I was very fortunate to have, I am very fortunate to have the opportunity to try this 21 karat gold nib, Sailor nib. It is a medium nib on this one which is, for those of you that know me, sort of quite unheard of for me to try a nib like that. However, it is a Japanese pen and those nibs do write much finer than a Western medium nib was. So it actually sort of is comparable to a Western fine nib, I would say. So I am going to turn this around and for you to have a look at, but thank you very much again to the writing desk for sending this to me for review purposes. So it will be going back, unfortunately. Um, it is a beautiful pen, I'm giving it away already. However, I'm going to turn the camera around, I'm going to stop going on so you can actually see what you're all here to see rather than me. And we'll be back very, very shortly. Bye. Welcome back. So this is how this pen arrives. So this is the Sailor 1911 and this is the large version of it. There is a what they refer to as a small, which I believe is called... No, names escape me. But there is a small that has a different, that has a different name attached to it. A slimmer version of this. But this is the full-size large version. So comes in this beautiful sort of royal blue slightly navy box with its gold marks so we've got the sailor logo written across here and this gold trim around the sides and oh the other thing that's worth mentioning as well is that I had with it if I can find it here yeah I have it here it came with a test card so that it, it went this was loaned to me by the writing desk, as you can see, and they have these little test cards so that the nib was tried and tuned if necessary before it came out to me. So it says, Sailor 1911, black, and it's a medium. Rhodium trim, and it's a medium. And signed off by Martin there on the 11th of February, which is, I, I think, a really nice touch. There's sort of, you know, a little bit of effort sort of gone into testing these pens before they come out. So let's have a look inside. So nice box, same box that actually my other Sailor pen came in, but nice as the Sailor logo here, this sort of almost sort of satiny feeling here and a very nice cushioned base to that and we'll take this pen out. Underneath here then we had the warranties and everything and then the converter that came separately from this. So I put the converter in obviously for these sort of purposes. Let's move that out of the way. So this is the Sailor typical cigar shaped pen very reminiscent of the Mont Blanc um, very similar to the Platinum 3776 which you know I've reviewed that pen as well so you could take a look but this is bigger this is wider than that pen um, sizes then I've got so much here by the side of me um, this is weight wise is 26 grams capped like this and it's 16 grams uncapped so average sort of weight not particularly heavy at all um lengthwise this is 141 millimeters in length from top to toe and it is 122 millimeters from nib to to the end here and it's 154 millimeters posted and you can post this pen just have a look at this so we've got this is the rhodium trim it does come in a gold trim as well so we've got the rhodium trim around the base here just where it tapers to the sort of very thin end point here we have the rhodium band around the middle which 
we can see there states Sailor Japan founded in 1911 which is where the name of this pen comes from the clip very sort of heavy clip so this I, I would feel secure using that clip and again the rhodium trim around the, the base here screw cap three turns and we're off and matches with the rhodium trim around the middle here just underneath the thread so you can see that there so this is a medium nib and this is a 21 karat gold nib very pretty nib if you can see that here it's a very nice detailing on that nib it says 1911 the sailor logo 21 karat 875 and then sailor and then just under here you'll see it says medium hm which i think is hard medium so this is again nice beautiful rhodium plated 21 karat gold nib cartridge converter pen which it comes with as standard and it carries on this rhodium carries on in here and it you know it feels sort of weighty whether at sort of this point I'd like a possibly a piston filler but then there is a piston filler available in the Rialo version of this pen so this pen not cheap not inexpensive at all this is 216 pounds here in the UK you may be able to get it cheaper sort of elsewhere however um, this is a 21 karat gold nib and that being said those of you that know me black pens do absolutely nothing for me as a rule um, there was one other pen I did a review of that was black I had a look at the um, it was a Caveco the Caveco Elite that was a black pen and I really liked that pen but as a general rule I don't like black pens and this is very much a classic it is the 1911 classic looking pen but I actually really like it it does come in other colors so you wouldn't have to have it in black but I do like it in black it's something that you would be able to take out at a meeting or write with a lovely notebook and it looks the part and it matches in its writing which is the most important thing it is beautiful to look at it is well made it feels great and it lives up to my expectations I wanted to try a gold nib a sailor gold nib I love my steel nib my sailor steel nib in the fine and this medium gold nib is I would say and you know this probably takes a lot to say and I'm a little hesitant but I would say is the smoothest nib I have ever written with and I love it I absolutely love writing with this pen so let's have a look at this so this is the Sailor 1911 and this is the large and this is a medium 21 karat gold nib and here in the UK £216 retail the ink is Pelican Edelstein Amethyst among my favourite inks or certainly among my favourite red purpley inks the shading on this ink I know this has got nothing to do with the pen but well it has got certain amount to do with the pen but the shading that comes from this ink it's really lovely really enjoy it so as I said buttery smooth takes no pressure at all to write with it the pen is doing the work not you it's beautiful there is certainly some variation it's a springy nib as you can see sorry now you can see 
be good if it was in the shop. And when you do this, this is where you can really see that. The shading on that ink. Lovely, lovely pen. Would I add it to my collection? Absolutely in a heartbeat. If I had the money right now, without a shadow of the doubt, I would add it to my collection. And one day I will add one to my collection. I want to say a very, very big thank you to Martin for loaning this pen to me. The details will be underneath as to where you can get hold of this and the ink that I've used and where I had that. Any questions, please drop me a line in the comments below. If there's anything else you want me to have a look at, any pens that you've been sort of umming and ahhing about that you'd like me to take a look at, then again, please leave a comment below. I am going to start looking at inks. And what I've got coming up soon as well is coming back to um, a notebook that I've been looking at. Um, but thank you very much for joining me. I won't keep you any longer. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.